what is more core, what is more uh, expected of us is to ensure that we have a safe industry that is very secure. So perhaps, perhaps it is more important to establish all those things that aid air transportation to be secure and safe. In the case of Enugu, it's unsafe. We saw how the runway has dilapidated completely, and we saw how um, there was a market in the approach path of the runway. We had the radio masts around the airport, which is also safety. Where the airport, the, the, the runway is uh, short and dilapidated, and there are buildings, people built inside the airport premises. You know, all these are safety matters. In aviation, we're always uh, uh, forward-looking. We're always uh, proactive. We cannot afford it to happen. Then we respond. No. If it happens, we lose 500 lives instanta. We don't just wake up to close uh, um, runways. Runways have been closed before in Nigeria. I remember when Portakwar was closed. It took two years and a half to open. But when we closed Abuja, which was, which was more dilapidated than Portakwar was, and which was more critical to the economy of Nigeria, more central, because it sits the government, it sits the power in Nigeria. We closed it, we did six weeks, we gave our words, and we were able to do it and finish six weeks minus a day. And it was against all odds, everybody was coming. So in particular reference to Inugu, Inugu remained closed until the time that we were able to do it. The purpose of air transportation is to create an efficient, robust economy to add value to other sectors like tourism, for example, which is money earner, money spinner, to also connect us with markets. And it's not for the elites alone. The downtrodden benefits for air transportation because the elites travel to serve the downtrodden. That is one. Two, even the downtrodden, they travel all the way to Dubai, to China, to India to bring wares and goods and come and sell and make 300,000 naira, which is less than $1,000. Uh, so the downtrodden will pay his ticket 200,000, 250,000 to Dubai, buy words and come back and sell them for 300,000 and wait two weeks and go back again. They do it. And that is downtrodden. That's not elite. So air transportation is not elitist. And I always give example of Nangwati who employs more than 100,000 people. If he's traveling, he's not him traveling. It's those 100,000 people that are traveling because he has to travel to create their wages and their salaries to be paid.